If you lift the African continent and place it over Europe, you could fit three Africas inside Europe. If you draw a straight line from Africa's eastern edge, the Somali coast, to its western edge, Dakar, the capital of Senegal, the distance would be about 7,300 kilometers. But the distance from the Bering Strait to Iceland is only 5,300 kilometers. This is the biggest trick of the Mercator projection. Again, in traditional maps, Africa appears smaller than Canada, even though you could fit three countries the size of Canada inside Africa. But why have we been seeing inaccurate maps since childhood? This map is known as the Mercator Projection. When the Mercator Projection was created, European colonizers were establishing colonies in different parts of the world. They widely circulated this map. Their deliberate intention was to show Europe disproportionately large and the other countries smaller. This became a form of cartographic colonialism through which they didn't just occupy land, but also shaped people's thinking and worldview. As a result, global history and geographical perspectives became Eurocentric. The world's time zones were also divided using the Mercator projection method, where Europe was placed at the center. To learn how you are being misled by traditional maps, watch the full video from the link below the subscribe button. You can also watch from the link in the description box or the pinned comment to see why all the maps of the Earth are wrong. Before that, be sure to follow and subscribe. Thank you.